welcome to my channel, welcome to the Kids and Pets channel. So today I am back with another lock video and today we will be talking about things not to do so as not to damage your locks. These are things that I have learned, learned um, along my journey and I just felt it was important for me to share with you guys the things not to do so you can make sure that you do not end up with damaged locks. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I would say to you guys is if you are starting on your lock journey is avoid tight styling. That is tight retightenings and you know just styling that is too tight. The reason for this is this is going to loosen or weaken your hair strands at the roots and that's going to result in hair shedding and um, possible traction alopecia. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're not doing too tight retightenings or too tight styling because this will definitely damage your locks. The second thing I will mention is a controversial one because this is down to how you look after your hair um, post doing it. So the thing that I'm talking about is bleaching your locks. As you guys know, I bleached my locks, um, rather I lightened them, but obviously I used developed to get the lighter colour and as a result that can cause extreme dryness because bleaching in essence is using a chemical to restructure the hair strands so as to allow a different colour to come in. And doing this can cause your locks to become very brittle and the result of brittleness is breakage. So what I did when I did um, bleach my locks, I upped my routine when it came to the moisture gain because you want to make sure that your locks are not going to be experiencing the level of dryness that bleaching can bring to your life. So the product that I used which helped me and was an absolute lifesaver is the Cozy Pets Wheat Protein Leave-In Conditioner. I tell you guys, this thing is an absolute lifesaver. So if you've watched my previous video about the products that I use, this product, I spritz it on my hair every night or every other night whenever I can because I am a busy mom of two. I use this because um, it literally does as it says on the bottle, which is a unique blend of pure water, wheat proteins, multivitamins, and essential fatty acids providing lasting moisture without surface buildup, which is absolutely key for us lock kings and queens to bring shine, improve manageability, reduce breakage and revive damaged hair. This absolutely did all that and even when I dyed my locks back to black, it has been keeping my locks in check. And if you live in a cold country like myself, Moisture is absolutely key, which brings me on to my third point. Lack of moisture can also lead to, um, to lock breakage, lock thinning, and I have mentioned a method to which you will end up with lack of moisture, which is bleaching, but simply, you know, just not really taking an interest in your routine. I live in a cold country, and for most people that do watch my videos, you are in a cold country, and it's absolutely essential to your hair away from the elements even if you are living in a hot country it's essential to look after your hair the same way you look after your skin your hair needs that same level of care because ultimately hair is made up of dead cells and as a result we need to make sure that we are looking after it it's absolutely essential so this was the last life saver now the other thing I am going to mention is using too many products. If you are using too many products, it can damage your locks in the sense that you do not understand what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and as a result, you can end up with product buildup, or you know, not really understanding what may be going wrong in your lock journey, even though you feel that you are doing all the right things. As you guys know, for me, simplicity is key. Since beginning my lock journey, I didn't wash my locks, my starter locks, till six months, and from then, I was using that Kuti Pets African Black Soap Crumble, alongside with the moisturizer, the leave-in conditioner that I've just shown you guys, as well as my handy-dandy repairing hair growth serum. Those are the only three 
products that I use. I've never switched on to another product. And obviously my styling, my retwisting products, that's it. And I retwist every two to three months. And um, I still, I'm three years into my journey and I still haven't done an ACB rinse because I, I genuinely don't believe my hair needs it because it's got all the, you know, right kind of products being used to it. Now the last point I am going to make is just a subject for everybody across board, whether you've got locks or you haven't, is take care of yourself. If you do not want to damage your locks, you need to look after yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. These are areas that mostly get neglected when we look after our hair journey or even just in life generally. It's important to make sure you know you're getting a balanced diet, you're not tired, and you're getting all the supplements that you need. Um, you know, I have moments sometimes when I'm low in iron or I'm low in vitamin D, and as a result, this can affect other things in your body, i.e., your skin, your hair, tightness, etc., and that can lead to damaged locks. When it comes to your emotions as well, it's important to look after your emotional wellness and your mental wellness. Things like stress can cause you to experience damaged locks because your hair and your mind are not in the frame of mind to keep producing the right energy to yourself. And spiritually as well, as you guys know, I am a believer in Christ and I believe that my journey has taught me a lot about my relationship with Christ and I believe that you can experience the same thing in your hair journey as well. You know, just take the time out to just really understand why are you doing this journey? Why are you on this walk? Is it just for aesthetic reasons or is it actually, you know, just getting to know yourself in a much more deeper level? And I use my opportunity to grow my hair in its natural form just to understand, you know, how God created me and just embrace who God made me to be. You know, I got to a point where I was just tired of wearing the weeds and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I would throw on a wig if my hair could fit. But I just wanted to get to know myself on a deeper level. And I really am grateful for my journey. So yeah, those are the things that I wanted to share with you guys. And I do hope you have taken something on board from this video. And if you are interested in purchasing any of the products that I have mentioned in this video, be sure to head on over to www kudzupets.com and the link of that will be in the description box where you can find my products which are available very 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 affordable prices and also you guys do not forget to subscribe it's absolutely free you do not lose anything from subscribing to this channel and when you subscribe you will they have been reminded throughout the video but make sure you click the bell next to the button just so that you get notified whenever I upload a video because I know some of you guys think I'm not uploading or haven't seen a video because you cannot see me in your subscriptions list. So do make sure you switch on the bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video for now. Take care and God bless. Bye.